going from an improvements perspective. Just talk a little bit about, you know, where you're kind of seeing this move. We see Isaac kind of in the space right now, floating around the space, uh, probably going to show off some of his thrusters and, and, and stuff in a minute. Uh, I'd love to hear more about, you know, kind of where you're thinking about in terms of improvements in this layer too. So for us, really going back to the original dead space, it was something that uh, we felt, so again, super early build, <laughs> that we felt we could, uh, we could actually improve in terms of, uh, of experience and immersion. It's the zero G and how you would move around uh, in zero G. And that's something that was really good and improving the experience in Dead Space 2 and 3 that we felt was really missing in, uh, in the original Dead Space. And so that's why we, we took that mechanic of, uh, of flying around when you're in zero G and with much more 360 degree freedom. And now you can play Dead Space and really feel you in space during, uh, during those moments. And so also that's a mechanic that uh, we're starting to, uh, to improve a bit on. Like for example, you now you can interact as, uh, as you fly around, you can go into uh, tighter corridors, those kind of things. But also it allows us to revisit some of the old content and create new ways to navigate new paths. Like here in the original, you would have gone back through that door through uh, where you came from. And here it allows us to create new environments with eventually new challenges to surprise also the people that know the game and uh, will be like, oh, wait, what's that? What's that? <laughs> and now we're going to surprise you. So, so it's really delivering on the fantasy of being in space, making sure that we're able uh, to use that and revisiting all the places in the game and the original where uh, there was Zeruji, uh, which was the Superman jump back in Dead Space 1, and now applying full 360 motion and, and finding ways to... The lighting, the VFX, the fog, but also nail that ambience, give you the feeling that you're in the Ishimura, you're inside those dark corridors, and not only it's in engine, it's actually in game. And here's my boy Isaac. So that rig, that armor, it's not the original, it's... A new one, it's still work in progress, it's gonna be improved a lot, but it gives a first taste at Isaac Clark in, in the remake. And uh, look, here we are. Wow. I mean, the lighting, everything looks phenomenal. The smoke. It looks this so good. Very much what we should be expecting at this point from next generation graphics. It's really dead space, but like you never saw it, I think. Mm -hmm. So. It has been almost 13 years, you know, since the original game came out, the original Dead Space. Why is this remake happening now, and what is what exactly is this remake? Can you elaborate on that? So, one thing that's important for us, and that's why it's for PS5, Xbox Series, or for or for PC, is that there is not. It's not about one thing. Like Dead Space is a super strong experience, mm -hmm. and so. It's implemented into combat. Would you mind telling us more oh. about the original system versus the new system and what peeling actually means? I, so. I,
I wish I hadn't come here for this. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of Constellation now, part of our family. What you've found, it's the key to unlocking everything. We reach your Constellation. This is all we've been working towards. Looks good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array full check. Your space lane is clear. That's why we're here. Main engines go. Ignition. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. Sometimes I wonder what this city looked like before all this. <laughs> Probably like many others. People had their ambitions, plans, lives. Now it's all gone. The virus started it. But it was the people who made the world the way it is. This city, Villador. They tell me they had a vision. They had hope. But soon, one vision broke into many different ones. Instead of fighting together, people stood against each other. War broke out. Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? Hope died. Now the city is falling. Each time we strike down an enemy, we absorb their strength. But I can't let that happen. At least, not yet. I need the secrets the city holds. Oh, fuck. Hey! Still some rats here! I have to pick a side. The Bazaar needs good people. You're doing great so far. I have to make a difference. <laughs> Let's check and see. They say that great change is a series of small gestures. How about this series? Is 
all hope really gone? We'll see. Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient... We have always known war. It forged our empire. Turned heroes into queens and kings. And decimated our foes. Now our oaths are lost. Forsaken. And you must face the monsters. Our sins have borne.
begin by hearing an old, wise-sounding voice. And we see a quiet, peaceful setting. This will make our game seem big and important. Now, something must break the serenity. Will this creature be in the game? No, say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. These pointless slow motion shots make everything seem cool and should bolster pre-sale numbers. That wah sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world. And there should be lens flares. Now we see our hero. But only their silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. Or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished is the title.